uh, congratulations. Great to Thanks. see you back. And it's Thank great to see you. all four of you back together. I would think by this time in your lives, you're finishing each other's sentences. Pretty much. We don't even have to talk in full sentences. Everyone would, would laugh about that when we were on our trip because on the trip, we, we actually are in, I don't know if you can notice when you see the movie, but we're, there's many, many, many group scenes. Whereas normally when we're in our New York storylines, you know, we're off with our people that were, you know, our husbands, our children, whatever. But we're together almost the whole time that we're on the trip. And we were together off screen as well, because often you would have to get in a car and drive to your trailer, which we didn't have time in the day to do. So we just had this room and we would all nap together and we would all eat together. And the crew there who were some of them Moroccan and new to us, you know, they would just laugh because we don't even have full sentences. We're just like, oh, right, oh yeah, oh, right, and then time, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, it's like that. <laughs> How refreshing was it, Kristen, to you know to shoot away from you know from New York City for seven weeks, Morocco? I mean, of all places. It was really really fun. I mean, I loved it. I'm a traveler, but it was also hard. You know, it was hard that they had to be away from their kids, and you know there were things that were a little challenging about it. There were some language barriers. Everything had to be said in Arabic, French, and English, and that includes action. So they would say action, and we would start, and they would be like, "Don't start," because then they had to continue in the different languages. So sometimes strange things would happen, like the background would go, but we wouldn't go, or we would go in the background, but you know, it all worked out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I love the script, and I, I, I think, and I've been saying to everybody that maybe because I can relate to so many of these characters because I'm around the same age as these women are now, um, but it was so real. When you read that, you know, I mean, I know you don't have, you're mm -hmm. not exactly obviously like mm -hmm. Charlotte, but how, you know, how much did you really connect to her this time? I always connect to her. Obviously, I, I play her for 12 years, so it doesn't take a lot for me to be connected, thank goodness. Um, Michael had talked to me about what, what he wanted to do this time. Um, we see each other, you know, all the time that we're not working. And um, I thought it was perfectly in line with everything that we've done in the past and, um, you know, made a lot of sense in terms of what I watch my friends go through. Um, and certainly I, I have my own, I mean, you know, when you're an actor, you, for, for Charlotte, it's a little odd because I played her for 12 years. We've all been playing our parts forever. So you don't actually have to do that much work in your head that you would normally have to do. But, you know, you, you can always relate to something where you're trying to be really, really good at something and you feel inside yourself that you're not achieving that. That's certainly relatable to anybody, whether it's your mothering skills or your relationship skills or your job skills or whatever it is. So it's not hard to relate to Charlotte. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah I just, my heart went out to her, Thanks. especially with the kids and me being a mom. Like, who hasn't been there? I know, and, and, and it's it's hard that, that somehow society doesn't really make it easy for women to talk about that. And I think that's one of the things that Michael felt was really important. Like, you're, you know, all you're supposed to really ever say about being a mother is, my children are everything to me. I love them so much. They've totally changed me. Like, when Sarah Jessica first got pregnant, that was the question everyone kept saying to all of us. Is she totally different? And I was like, no. What do you mean is she totally different? She's always been maternal. She's always been caretaking. She's, like, there, there's no... People are very funny about motherhood. Yeah, it's, it's weird if you, yeah, right? I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, okay. and then suddenly you're not allowed to be honest or whatever, and I think that's something Michael Patrick wanted to say. Like, no, you can talk about that it's hard. It's hard. It's a hard, hard job. Especially it's that job. nanny line. Oh, my God. Good. Yeah. Good. So related. Good. Good. I, I can't even tell I'm you. glad. I'm glad. Great. Now, Good. there's so many fun things going on in this film, but let's talk about, first of all, the art of camel riding. Um, <laughs> you know, it, you know I, I don't even believe he made you get on that camel. Well, you know, I love the camel riding. I obviously have to do a little bit more with the camel than just ride it. That was the part I was a little nervous about. The camel riding was fantastic, but if you ask Cynthia, who's on my camel with me, she did not necessarily feel the same way. But I personally totally enjoyed it. Now, I'm wearing pants. I'm the only lucky person to actually wear pants that day, which helped a little bit. Um, but, you know, for me, I mean, I ride horses, I'm, I'm good. I like that stuff. The walking in the sand was way harder than that the camel hard. riding. Yeah, even like when I'm LA, in LA trying to walk on the beach, it's tough. It's and tough. let me tell you, this desert here, I mean, it's soft sand for, there's no, do you know what I'm trying to say? It's not like our beaches or our dunes where like there's actually hard ground under there. Sarah's entire shoes were submerged. I was really, I mean, she is a trooper like you wouldn't believe. I'm wearing flats. And I couldn't barely do it. No, so crazy stuff. I know, but these are good problems to have. These right? are very good problems. <laughs> I'm not, you know, totally nothing yeah, yeah. to complain about. Right. Okay. Uh, karaoke. Uh huh. This is this something that you like to do in real Never life? Never. I would rather die. <laughs> 
Which is how I feel about a lot of the things that Charlotte has to do, you know? But that's good. It's good to have, have embarrassment factors. Like, remember when I tap danced in the show? Same feeling about karaoke and tap dancing. Very embarrassing, extremely hard. Um, I was very nervous. I'm not the singer. I'm the least singer of the four of us. They all know this. They all help me so much whenever we have to sing. Uh, but we really had a good time. We shot that over many days and nights. We had this incredible group of people with us. We have dancers. We have Broadway singers in our audience who stand up and sing. I mean, it was really surprisingly fun. And then you get to meet Liza Minnelli. Liza! She was amazing! She was amazing. It was really, really amazing. Just to even have her in it, much less to have her do a dance number I to mean, Beyonce. I mean, it was it was really fun. Very surreal. Crazy surreal. Yeah. We had many surreal moments, and that was definitely one of them. And yeah. she's so lovely. Yeah. She's so sweet. And you just can't believe you're standing there talking to her, you know? <laughs> totally cool. Yeah. Um, why do you think, you know, the fans are just so still invested in these characters? It's amazing. Because we're lucky. <laughs> I think because we're super, super lucky, number one. And then number two, I think because Michael Patrick is such a good writer. You know, you really cannot ever overstate how important the writing is. You know, people talk about the clothes and people talk about the shoes. But if we didn't have the good storylines and the good dialogue, I don't think anyone would care what we were wearing, you know? And that's why I think we've been able to last, and, and I think our fans are just so loyal, you know, and so kind of outspoken in a wonderful way, and they just go with us, where, where he, you know, he thinks so hard and deep about what we should do and where we should go. I mean, like, he is obsessive. Like, everyone's like, oh, and now you're just gonna do another. He's like, oh, no, he has to like, he, it's like from his soul, do you know what I'm saying? So he really is the, the secret key to all of it, I think. He's a fantastic writer. Yeah. Well, you know, I hope he has number three in his role. I hope so, too. But all good things do eventually come to, the, to an end. Will it be very sad to say goodbye to Charlotte? We've already said goodbye. I don't think about this. You know, we already said goodbye. I have pictures of Sarah, like, sobbing on my shoulder in the streets of Manhattan when we had to say goodbye back in 2004 or whatever it was. You know, first of all, we live forever on film, and that's why we do what we do. You know, it's a, it's a, it's an honor to, to, to be part of something that people have loved and enjoyed and still watch. So it will never go away from that, and we're friends in life, so I don't ever have to think about actually, you know, parting from them. I mean, Charlotte will live inside me. I don't know. Absolutely. Yeah. She has to, yeah. Yeah. It's like the Rolling Stones. You guys will tour forever. The Rolling Stones are on... On uh, TV every night. It's fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Congratulations Thank so, you much, so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. I just saw that little clip of Jimmy Kimmel and Mick Jagger. So yes, cute. he's doing stuff all.